Hey everyone, Harv here, Harv Video Audio Stuff. I wanted to make this video after the surprise announcement of Sony's 61 megapixel A7R 4 As subscribers of this channel will know, I'm a video guy, so usually a camera with such a photography focus wouldn't be worth mentioning. But it did raise a few questions for me. Firstly, why did Sony announce this now? I mean, have they rushed it to market? Secondly, if that's the case, what are they scared of? I have a suspicion of the answer to this, but we'll get to that. And thirdly, why? Oh, why is there still no A7S III? I'm not gonna tell you all of the A7R 4 specs. You probably know them all by now, uh, but I should start by saying that the video specs are barely worth mentioning. 4K at 29.97 frames per second maximum. And I'm completely not surprised that there's such a low ceiling for frame rates. After all, what kind of crazy, crop sensory, downscaley, line skippy, pixel binny sorcery is Sony using to get a 4K image from a sensor that has 61 million pixels? It's just so clearly not aimed at videographers. But anyway, why did Sony release this now and did they rush it to market? Honestly, whether you need 61 megapixels or not, I don't really care. What interests me is why they decided to announce the next generation of the A7R so soon, relatively speaking after bringing out the frankly phenomenal A7R 3 I understand that there are notable upgrades with the focusing system, the card slots, the custom functions, that kind of thing, but I can't help but feel like it's too soon. I mean, when you look at the current full-frame high megapixel competition, there's Nikon's 45 megapixel Z7 and D850, and honestly, that's about it. Yes, I know Canon have the 50 megapixel 5DS and 5DSR, which are great, but they're arguably well overdue for updates. The A7R 3 hangs so comfortably with that group, so why now for the A7R 4? And are Sony shaking in their boots about something? Well, I have a thought on that, and I suspect it's something to do with the uptick in medium format mirrorless market, with Hasselblad and particularly Fuji doing some amazing things in that area. Personally, I don't think Sony need to worry just now, as making the switch to a Fuji GFX 50R or S, plus all the lenses is a costly thing to do. You know, and we can argue about image quality for days, which I encourage you to do in the comment section below, but arguably I would say it's not worth doing. But the most pressing question is why in the hell Sony thought the release of this camera is more important than the release of the next iteration of the A7S line? <laughs> Up until now, the A7R and A7S lines have been released as near as makes no difference in tandem. The A7R 3 was released in November 2017 and we've been waiting for the S equivalent ever since. So what's taking so long? Well, the update from the original A7S to the second generation saw some really nice improvements. We got 4K internal, S-Log3 and a stabilized sensor. So my guess is that Sony wants the next version of the A7S to be a really stable camera that doesn't overheat, but yet offers significant feature upgrades to rival some of the other manufacturers' offerings. I'm looking at Panasonic. Things like 10-bit internal recording, 4K at 60 frames per second, no crop when filming at high frame rates, better battery life and improved autofocus, the problem with all of these things when using a full frame stabilized sensor is that it's difficult, plainly put, and I bet Sony are struggling big time with it. Anyway, I really want to know what you think. Have Sony lost the plot? What do you think about this camera coming out before the A7S III? I'll be in the comments section as much as possible, so let me know your opinion down there. And that's it for now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I've got a large back catalogue of videos about video on this channel, of which YouTube recommends this one for you and my latest upload will be just underneath. If you're not subscribed then definitely do it, hit the blob just over this shoulder and until next time let's help each other out and shoot better videos. See you guys.